Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and welcome to your Thursday's Transformers news. As ever, I've got loads of things uh, that I've found on the internet that I want to share with you, but also I need to let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel as well. Of course, I think most of you now know that I am at the MCM Comic Con over the weekend, so I'm going to try and keep things going as normal. However, it does mean that I'm going to do something that I've never really done before. I'm going to have to pre-record a couple of videos for the news over the weekend, but obviously I'm going to be there in hand to bring you all the most up-to-date news. But in the meantime, let's kick off with people who are lucky enough to be going to the New Jersey Collectors Con. There is another one. This is November the 23rd and 24th. So if you want any more details on that, head to TFW 2005 or indeed their own website. They've got yet another huge, huge Collectors Con going on right there. Okay, moving on to some more little blind box things. These are just huge everywhere at the moment. So these are Transformers 1 collectible cards and they're also releasing Transformers minifigure blind boxes for the Chinese market. Now they're made by Caillou and they're five centimeters tall chibi sort of style non-articulated minifigures. Now some of them look much better than the others and I'm sure you'll agree or be able to tell which ones they are. Now at the moment these are exclusive to China but that doesn't mean that people like, I know in the UK we've got websites like AliExpress, Timu and all that sort of stuff so most of the things that pop up there do in fact appear sorry most things in china do appear on there as well so if it is something that you're after this is what they look like so there's the packaging of your blind boxes some of them don't look too bad they've got a nice translucent that must be i would imagine a chase version there same as i mean they've, i like the fact they've gone with hard head you know they haven't gone with the all the main characters which you've got there it's quite interesting and refreshing to see um, exactly that. So as I say, we've got figures, we've got collector's cards, we've got blind boxes, uh, and there's quite a few of them. But as I say, I know lots of people who do like these sort of things, so it's worth keeping your eyes open just to see exactly what they are and when in fact they do show up. There you go, that's how big they are. And again, not too bad, as I say, definitely not for my collection, but I'm sure some people will absolutely love these. And I'm sure that you can create quite a lot of fun displays with them all. Okay, here we go. Skybound Comics again. Fantastic. I'm finally up to date with all of them. Well, uh, getting the videos put up on the channel more regularly. What we've got here now, this is issue 16 of Void Rivals. As always, guys, you've got a choice of covers. My Everybody's going to be able to guess which one mine will be. I want you to tell me which is your favourite out of these. Mine, of course, is that. <laughs> Straight away, no questions. They're all good, though. They're all great artwork, but mine, obviously, hands down, is that straight away okie dokie moving on for those of you who missed most of the things that happened over the weekend uh hasbro pulse youtube channel have uploaded the full nycc 2024 hasbro action brands panel for your viewing pleasure so you can watch all of that if you wanted to um and yeah there we go there's a direct link on tfw 2005 but you can also check it out on the pulse youtube channel as i've mentioned Reaction, Unicron, Yellow and Grimlock Metallic. These are Big Bad Toy Store's 25th anniversary exclusive. So we saw sort of images of these, I suppose, teased a month or so ago, but now we can confirm they are definitely BBTS exclusives. And you can also get them from your sponsors, Entertainment Earth. So there you go. They can't be that exclusive. You can get it from both. Right, there is the Unicron. Um, what I really like about this, and even though the figures I have no... You know, what I mean, they, they don't do anything for me, but you put them in one of them boxes and straight away, as bad as it sounds, I want them just because it's in one of them boxes. Uh, they are, as I say, I've got I, my head is being turned with regards to these non-transforming figures. Um, but with this one, it's all about the boxes. So that's, yeah, that's Super 7. Um, and again, it's great. I love the packaging. Uh, stick something in a Generation 1 box and I'm pretty much instantly sold. Right, this is something I definitely want your feedback because... As I've said before, I am so far, I mean, literally, I'm 72 issues behind on this, but it looks like it's coming to the American markets. Now, it is by Fan Home, which is that little uh, book you get there. So on a monthly subscription, you get either four or five books with four or five sets of parts. This is to build up this huge um, Optimus Prime figure from, of course, the Bayverse films. It looks, that's all the little parts. As I say, I've got a box of them. I've not even started. It looks to be something new that is coming to the US. Please, guys, let me know in the comments if it is. Um, I, I'm way behind on mine. I'm looking forward to starting it very soon anyway. But if that is the case, I will get around to doing mine much, much quicker. And as I say, we're up to issue 72 in the UK. Uh, so obviously, way, way in front of you guys if that is the case. Right, more confirmed guests for TF Khan Baltimore. This is Jessica. Can I pronounce that possibly? Digioviani. Hopefully, I've got that right. 
apologies if I don't, you can see and meet her at TFCon Baltimore. Right, last couple of things then. New Age are now starting to ship their comic book version um, of Slag, and that's just great. That's the exact, pretty much same cover to the, gen to the Generation 1 UK Marvel Comics. This is sensational. So this is Metal Hawk. I've just screen grabbed this from Fans Hobby's Facebook page. This is how they are going to tackle the Pretender. So basically, of course, there's the, what we would know as the inner bot. And of course, that is what does all the transforming. But what you can do is you can attach all these bits to that bot and it looks like the Pretender shell. Ingenious. It's just genius. So I'm, of course, <clears throat> excuse me, definitely going to be looking out for him. If you want to know where you can order him from and loads of other things, this at the moment is Shozy's pre-order page. We've got the new masterpiece, Swindle from Magic Square. There's the 3-0 special lockdown figure. There's everything on here, guys. There's Yolo Park figures, 3-0 figures. There's the new Blockies Megatron coming as well. There's Fans Home, not Fans Home, Fans Hobby, Fans Toys, Doctor Wu, um, everything you can see here, Trumpeter, there's the new star screen from Yolo Park that's being shipped as we speak, as well as you no know, other things like Warhammer and G.I. Joe, etc. As I've mentioned loads of times on here, the only thing you can't get is your mainline generations and studio series. So you can get everything that's affiliated with Hasbro and Takara, Yolo Park 3.0, Blockies, Trumpeter, all them other sort of things, as well as actual Takara masterpiece and movie masterpiece figures as well. Please do check it out, um, and it's well worth getting yourself some points. Right, obviously, as I say, I'm going to pre-record a bit later on Fridays and Saturdays news, but as always, I'm going to be there giving you as much content as possible over the weekend at MCM. Take care, guys.